What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Catch and Cook Adventures. I'm craving some fish ceviche. We're gonna head out, try and find us some snappers, maybe some Bermuda chub. Let's do this. back in the dinghy. Look at that guy. Beautiful mutton snapper. One of the tastiest fish down here. You can see the black spot there. That's how you identify him. I got a gut shot, which isn't great. You know, you want to go for the head. And this guy's still alive. So I'm going to put him out of his misery. Just knife him right through the brain as quickly as possible. All right, so I've knifed this guy. I'm just gonna get the spear out. So it looks like this guy almost broke free. He was actually taken off even as I was pulling him out of the cave. Oh, that is a gorgeous fish. Waves are starting to pick up. Perfect time to head back. I'm gonna get this guy on ice immediately because uh, we wanna keep this fresh. Basically from the moment you pull that fish from the water and it's dead, there's a clock ticking. So I'm just gonna get him in here, get some ice on him. to weigh up our mutton snapper. So this guy's about 0.85 kilograms. That's just under two pounds. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, gut this guy. So I'm just gonna make a cut from here to here. So I'm just doing my best to, to make a cut there. And I'm uh, just gonna reach in there and get a hold of all those good bits. Yum. You can see his uh, air sac here. That's what the fish use to control their buoyancy. Make sure he's nice and clean inside. The next step here is to scale this guy. So I'm just gonna make sure that uh, I'm going against the scales, get a good grip around the tail, and of course, make sure I'm wearing gloves. This guy does have some spikes on him. This right here is a gutted scaled fish so we could potentially just take this grill it up saute it up and he is ready to eat right now but what I've got in mind for this guy is a little snapper ceviche now only some of the meat is really gonna be uh, best for ceviche so what I'm gonna do is just cut the fillet off and uh, leave the head and the ribs area down here where the fins are so I just find where the head kind of joins the flesh there 
make a cut down and we'll make a cut as well just along the top basically just to help us get our uh, our cut started the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna get the knife nice and flat even a little bit curved I got a nice fillet knife that curves a bit and I'm just gonna push it down until it uh, meets the spine and then I'm basically using the fish's spine to uh, ride along the body with my fillet knife and just cut off as much as I can here. Got a nice, nice fillet there. We'll just set that aside for a minute. There's definitely some, still some good meat in here. So I'm gonna go in and uh, cut that out. So we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing. See if I can get a cleaner cut. Alright, we got our second fillet right there. And same thing, I missed a few bits of meat here, so I'll just go in there and cut those pieces out. There we go. Okay, so I got all the skin off of that fillet, and I'm just gonna give that a rinse, make sure I get all the scales off. Nobody wants to be pulling scales out of their teeth while they're eating a ceviche. And there you have it. We got two beautiful fillets out of that guy to make our snapper ceviche. All right guys, it is time to make our mutton snapper ceviche. So I've got everything prepared here. You can see I've got the mutton snapper fillets in an ice bath. Got the fish cooling. I've got all my limes and lemons. So I've got some onion here. Normally I'd use red onion, We're using white onion today. And I'm just letting it sit in some salt water that's gonna help to suck that real strong onion flavor out of it. I got some Himalayan pink sea salt here, some Asian pear. This is some local mango from here on St. John. I've got uh, some minced habanero pepper, some minced garlic, minced ginger, and quite a bit of cilantro. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and juice all of these uh, limes and lemons. So we'll start doing that. salt. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of sea salt but the most important thing is to just start a little bit under mix it up and just give it a try you want to get it so you can taste the saltiness but that it's not overpowering and that salt and lemon is what's gonna be cooking our fish today I'd say it's perfect next up just gonna throw the uh, the ginger in there, all this minced ginger, minced garlic, and the habaneros. I'm just gonna mix that up. And I'm gonna take the fish here and just cube it up.
now I'm just gonna uh, take my onion, which has been sitting in the salt water. And I'm just gonna give it a good squeeze. I'm gonna chuck that in there. And the most important ingredient of all is our fish. Okay, we want that, uh, that lemon and that lime and the habanero to really start cooking that. Mix it up. Now it's already started cooking. This will literally be ready to eat within a minute or two. I don't want to wait too long. If the fish is sitting too long in the citrus, it's uh, actually going to overcook it and it's going to become kind of chewy and tough. Last but not least, I'm just going to throw some fruit in there. We're going to throw some mango in. Got a bit of mango juice. Local mangoes grown here on St. John. And the final ingredient is our cilantro. I go pretty heavy on the cilantro. It's a really important ingredient in this. Make sure all the ingredients are mixed up real nice. And then I'm just gonna let this sit. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you make ceviche. This is our special mutton snapper ceviche. All right guys, it is time to try our mutton snapper ceviche. Perfect blend of different flavors. Mission accomplished. Thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Catch and Cook Adventures. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right here. And if you want to see another video, check out my other videos linked below. Remember guys, always fish responsibly. Try to keep spearfishing a sustainable practice. We'll see you guys next time.